Today we're heading out into the Vulture Mountain area. The Vulture Mountain Range is actually the remnants of an ancient volcanic uprising and is located about six miles south of the town of Wickenburg. Okay, we are now here in a pull-off on the side of Vulture Mine Road. The area around Vulture Peak is incredibly beautiful and quite rugged. As soon as you get over the first couple of hills and down into the washes, you completely lose your bearing and you have to have some kind of a plan to get back to where you park. From the start, we're familiarizing ourselves with the higher landmarks in the area, which can usually be seen from the top of even the smallest hill. You have to do a lot of looking backwards to get to know the terrain. There are a variety of gems and minerals that are known to inhabit the area. And about a quarter mile in now, and there's a piece of copper ore. And you can see the turquoise and malachite colors inside. About a half mile up now, and a couple of large pieces of some obsidian. It's a very glass-like volcanic rock and the same one the early natives used to make some of their best arrow points about a mile in now and we're starting to see a lot of large geodes in the wash and one here with a nice opening the inside of these hollow stones are just lined with clusters of clear quartz crystals. Very nice. A little farther up now and we're starting to see some more copper ores in the wash. And now some larger pieces. And here a mammoth piece over one foot some beautiful colors of malachite and turquoise in there really nice we had been noticing some eye-catching jade-like looking pieces in the wash and now here the source some large veins of what appears to be a type of serpentine with a really nice jade like color and texture once again we're about six miles south of the town of Wickenburg and just west of Vulture Peak it's an amazingly beautiful place and there are a variety of gems and minerals to be found right out here in the desert. 